so I have this Amscope uh, microscope that I've had for quite some time and the other day I was walking by and I spot it and I was like yeah that's a that's probably a good thing to to do some stock photography on I've done stock photos on it before a while ago um, they periodically sell but I thought you know uh, let's see if I can get some more bucks out of it <laughs> anyways uh, I have these three images here and these are the photos that I'm gonna work with I'm gonna start in Lightroom then move over to Photoshop to do some final retouching such as removing spots and you know little blemishes and stuff all right so without further ado um, let's get started all right so I'm gonna start with number two here um, and for this I, I really want to go with you know, it, it kind of has that look that I want to begin with. It's going to be, you know, like that cold, uh, mechanical, medical type look. Um, yeah, so warming up the image in this scenario wouldn't really give me what I'm looking for. So I'm going to keep the white balance a little bit on the cooler side. So let's see. Yeah, that looks good there. And then I'm gonna add some, a little bit of green in there. Okay. Um, exposure is good for now. I'm gonna come back to that. Um, let's see, highlights. Uh, bring those down a little bit. Shadows. Um, I'm trying to go for like a high contrast look. So I am gonna bring the shadows down and the blacks down. So bring the shadows down a little blacks down lights um, okay then I'm gonna bring the exposure up a little perhaps even bring this down some more and you can hover over this to see you know um, you're cr crushing the blacks so I'm gonna lift this just a little Okay, so that's not too bad there. Um, let's see, so let's go down to the curves and to fake it that we're not crushing the blacks, I'm just gonna lift this up slightly. There we go. So in this image now, there's really no true blacks in the image. It's just slightly, <laughs> slightly black. Um, all right, so let's get back to, um, yeah, that looks good there. I'm going to up the texture a bit, up the clarity, a little bit of dehaze, um, some vibrance, a little bit down on the saturation. All right, and that's looking good already. Um, so I'm going to go down to the detail panel, I'm going to up sharpness to about 50 and then ensure that my masking is set appropriately. So I'm holding down the option key while I'm dragging this around. Everything in white will have sharpness applied, everything in black will not have sharpness applied. So you want to adjust it to, to something that's appropriate. For example, I mean, you don't need the background to be sharpened, right? There's really no texture there. In fact, if you sharpen it, you're just going to introduce noise. Um, a little bit of noise reduction. I find that anytime you start doing anything with, the, with a raw photo, you start introducing noise. So like, it, it's going to be hard to see this on YouTube, but Trust me, it is doing something. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ensure that my lens corrections are on. I was using a manual focus lens, um, so the profile is not gonna be in here. I know the lens that I was using, but I'm just gonna, uh, let's see. So look down in these areas. Um, let's see if that's doing anything. 
yeah, it's removing a little bit of uh, chromatic aberration. Okay, that's looking good. Um, all right, so I'm going to go back up to, I'm going to increase the contrast. So. All right, so that's looking good. I'm going to make sure the image is straight based on this uh, vertical thing here. So just drag that. And let's try that again. Okay, that's good there. All right, so that's that looks uh, that looks very good. That's the kind of look that I'm going for. I, I might even put in, um, yeah, I introduced some a little bit of green into it there. So here's the before and the after. Before and the after. I really like that cold. Uh, metal <laughs> medical type look um, let's sync this over to this image here sync and sync everything and let's head over to it and you know there's a, a few things that we have to do to this it's a little bit too green and this is not straight so let's straighten that to begin with um, I'm gonna base it off of one of these objective lens here. Okay, and I might crop it just a little. Double click. There we go. That's looking good. Let's remove or introduce some more blue. Not too much. Let's just remove a little bit of the green. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. Here's the before and the after. Before, after. It is absolutely a stylized look, uh, look and that is indeed what I'm going for. All right, so let's move over to this image. Okay, so I'm gonna copy it over, but as you can see, this image is a little different from the others because it, it's starting off a little bit on the warmer side and there's some yellow light. That was from my ceiling light. I forgot to turn it off, but you can see some yellow in it. So we're gonna have to deal with that. So let's sync the settings. Okay, so right off the bat, <laughs> this is not looking good. Um, but let's put some blue into it. Um, let's go there. Maybe remove some of the green. A little bit of the blue. Up the exposure some. That's looking good already. Let's go down to hue and saturation and remove the yellow. So remove the yellow, orange, and the reds. A um, little bit of the green as well. Let's see. Uh, it's not really impacting it that much. Aqua. Oh, the aqua does it. Let's remove that. Okay, so it might be a little too blue. Yeah, um, up the exposure a bit. That's looking good. I'm liking that. Uh, maybe introduce a little bit more green into the whole scene there. 
Good. All right, so let's bring this. So I, I like it. That looks good. Um, out of all of them, I think my favorite is this one here. Um, so I'm going to start with this one. Let's bring it over to Photoshop. In fact, I'm not going to do what I'm going to do in Photoshop on all of these. I'm going to end it with this one here. So let's bring this one over to Photoshop and do our edits there. So I'm going to edit in Photoshop. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the image and clean up any little things like that, you know, um, there, all of these little um, fibers and whatnot, you know, because we are going for, you know, a high-end look, so we can't have um, dust and fibers all over our image. All right, so I'm gonna speed up this as I go through. I'm gonna use the, the combination of the spot healing brush, healing brush, and perhaps the patch tool. All right, so I'll start off with the spot healing brush. Yep, and I'm just gonna do that. And clean everything up. All right, so there it is, guys. That looks good. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is add on the, the finishing touches and it's a, just a little bit of flair. <laughs> All right, so let's add a new layer. Um, I'm gonna hit Shift and Delete and I'm gonna uh, fill it with 50% gray. Okay, and then I'm gonna lower the opacity so I can see through that layer a little bit. I'm gonna select my brush tool, B for the brush tool. Um, hit D to um, get the default colors, hit X to, to swap them. And then I'm gonna just put a white dot right where I want my uh, lens flare to go. So right there. Okay, now I'm gonna put my opacity back to 100%. I'm gonna go up to filters and go down to render um, lens flare. And here you can choose your lens flare. flare. Um, the one I'm gonna use for this is Movie Prime. That one looks good I, and you can see. So yeah, if you didn't put that dot there, you wouldn't really know precisely where to put this lens flare. So now that the dot is there, um, I'm just gonna put it right, the lens flare right over to the dot. And then we can adjust um, the brightness of that lens flare. I think that should be good there. Um, perhaps a little bit more. Then we hit okay. Okay, that's looking good. And next, we're gonna change the, the blending mode. And for this one, I found that hard light works the best. So let's select that. And boom, <laughs> that looks so good already. Um, all right, so there's one more thing we're gonna do. I, I wanna change the, the color of the light to, to be more yellowish. Um, that really goes hand in hand with the, the blue color. Um, yeah, they're complementary colors, so blue and yellow. Yeah, okay, so let's open up an adjustment layer. It's gonna be hue and saturation. And we're gonna clip uh, that layer to um, this layer one here. So I'm gonna hold on the option key and go between um, the layers until you see that square with the down arrow. Click, and now it's linked to this layer. So anything we do with this hue and saturation layer, it's only going to affect um, this lens flare layer. So let's just change. Yep, and there we go. Up the saturation a little. Maybe the brightness some. Yep. And if we're having this intense, intense light in the image, we would 
in reality having some of the image look a little bit washed out um, so that's why I'm not minding too much um, the little washed out look from the brightness so if we were to darken it you can see um, so I think there's about good so plus plus three and then I might try adding a curves layer and doing a little so small small little s curve there just to increase that um, the contrast a little bit there we go okay so that looks very good I mean I'm a little biased but <laughs> I think it looks good um, let me full screen that um, there we go very nice all right so exit full screen um, so I'm just gonna save this and head back over to Lightroom all right so now that's saved I can just quit Photoshop and there it is so this is where we started um, create a virtual copy and then reset this one and compare all right guys so on the left is where we started and on the right is what we ended up with I think that looks amazing um, yeah so yeah I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna do do pretty much what I did for this image to all of the, the next two images and yeah okay so I hope you got something out of this video if if anything you found it slightly entertaining <laughs> um, if you got anything just you know make sure to subscribe to the channel ring the notification bell so you don't miss a video and give it a thumbs up all right so until next time have a good one